The New York Times just exposed the heavily ag industry and pharmaceutical company industry funded UC Davis Clear Center headed by Dr. Frank Mitloner. Why does this matter? His work had a big influence on policy in California. California wanted to reduce methane emissions by 40% by 2030. And Dr. Mitloner's work played a huge role in how they went about this. The policy benefited large dairies. Basically, California taxpayers paid $500 million to have manure lagoons covered with tarps. And that was that instead of using the cane approach of rules and regulations and fines, they decided to use the carrot approach of financially incentivizing reductions of methane. And they invested half a billion dollars in helping farmers partner with the farming community in reducing methane. And they did so along the manure part of things. Now dairies are making more money by selling low carbon fuel standard credits than they are by even selling milk. It's a fuel type there is, and the state incentivizes that like nothing else. $200 per ton of CO2E. To many of you, that doesn't mean much, but what that means is that the dairies who do that, many of them reported to me, now make more money through those so-called low-carbon fuel standard credits, that's a mouthful, low-carbon fuel standard credits than they make with their milk checks. Dr. Mitloner has been active on Twitter responding to the criticisms of the Clear Center. In this tweet, he says, what is strange is that I support the state of California in their methane reduction goals, 40% and approaches, but I do this in a fashion that helps farmers to be successful. How can this be problematic for some? Well, let's explain that. It's problematic for the cows. These cows have been bred to produce way more milk than nature ever intended. As a result, they suffer high rates of mastitis as well as other conditions, and they have a decreased lifespan. Most dairy cows uh, are cold at the age of five years old after their productive years end. They're then sent to slaughterhouses and slaughterhouse workers face one of the most dangerous professions in the United States and also suffer high rates of PTSD from their stressful work. These are often people from marginalized communities forced to kill for hours every day. In drought stricken California, the meat and dairy industry uses 40% of all California's water. But the Clear Center is funded by billion dollar corporations who want to center their own interests. Science depends on what questions we ask, and the Clear Center asks questions that center the interests of powerful corporations. They get millions of dollars, but the rest of us Californians and the cows suffer.